Hello, awesome people of the internet. Welcome to my channel. So for the past five months, I've been learning Mandarin Chinese. And in this video, I want to discuss with you about how far I've come, what I've been doing, and what are my future plans for the language, okay? So first, I want to start with what I have been doing with the learning process. So for the most part, I've been using this app called Memrise, okay? And uh, like I think about sometime last week, I got done with all the courses on the app. The app actually has three courses, and by the end of it, uh, um, I guess I know about 1,900 words. Okay, so besides the app, I've been learning also by watching movies, you know, and YouTube videos to understand the accent and kind of hear the sound get used to with the listening um, yeah so I've been doing all those things prior to any of the language uh, can I speak the language well that's it's it's kind of tricky over here okay how should I say this okay so I think I kind of made a mistake over here okay um, I feel like I've spent too much time just doing the vocabulary okay um, because I don't think vocabulary alone is going to help you to speak the language. At this point, I feel like I haven't learned much at all really. I honestly, I'm very disappointed with myself. I have to be honest. And I think the mistake that I've made is that I wasn't focusing on speaking the language so much. Um, my main focus was just on the vocabulary. And that's basically the app is all about. It's memorize, you know. It helps you memorize the vocabulary. So do I think the app is bad? Um, honestly, the app does what it says, you know. So I think it's good for learning vocabulary, but that's, you know, that won't get you to speaking the language. I mean, I can say things like, you know, Tashi wada laoshi, Tashi jungo ren, jagahao chi, what else can I say? Was you wan sui shi jungo ren? Danshi what a jungo when butai how and you know I feel like it's very basic things you know I can so yeah for the most part it's not even the things that I can say it's the words that I know so like bowser dumplings quizer chopsticks um, you know the point is that I really can't speak the language much at all at this point at least not to the point that I was expecting I would be speaking at and it's just yeah man but you know i'm gonna so maybe you can learn from this you know don't spend too much time on learning just the vocabulary i think you can learn sentences phrases and keep practicing them and that's also like you'll still learn the vocabulary as you go on to learn new sentences so yeah now speaking of sentences and one of the most popular programs that that i've been hearing on the internet is pimsleur you know which focuses a lot on uh listening and allowing you to speak the language the only thing is that you know i've heard people use the app and the voice honestly sounds very computeristic like it doesn't sound like a human being talking to you so that's the first thing and another thing is that i've actually found this really awesome podcast which is on google podcast app so I'm going to put the logo up over here and there will be also a link in the description to that podcast. The guy has put out at least 100 free lessons and each of his lesson is about 20 to 30 minutes long, you know, and he's basically doing the same thing. So he will be like, you know, he'll first give you a short list of vocabulary and then he'll give you a few phrases and then he'll create a scenario, a situation whereby two people or three people will be interacting with each other and he also has a female friend which helps him out sometimes you know so sometimes like during the dialogue like let's say person a would be saying something and the person b comes in you know it's a different voice and it helps you distinguish so uh, yeah i'm very optimistic about this podcast that i've found i'm going to complete all the lessons at least one lesson per day so that should take me a uh, hundred days to complete all of the course all of the lessons that's available on the podcast I, I really feel like this is something I can use to improve my speaking and of course I will still be learning new vocabulary I'm actually already seven lessons into this podcast 
And I feel like a lot of the vocabulary that I learned earlier in Memorize is actually helping me understand and catch up with the guy much faster, you know? Like I don't have to pause, like a lot of the things, I just know the word and that just makes sense to me. It's the, the only thing is like when it comes to the speaking part, you know? So yeah, I'm really excited. You know, I hope that by the end of November, I get at least conversationally fluent, you know? that will be like my one year so by the end of november that's gonna be one year i started early uh december and yeah guys so this is all i have for this video you know uh mm -hmm. be be with a panyo subscribe to my channel guys to keep you motivated to keep learning i'll keep you guys posted and bring you new information that i'm finding out about learning mandarin or like just language learning in general and yes i'll see you when i do 再见。